Have y'all ever simped so hard for something that your entire existence, the very fabric of your identity becomes so intertwined, so aligned with one particular vertical or ideal or cause that there's nothing left beyond that. Now, if owning the first edition vinyl of every single Taylor Swift album and individually running 17 Instagram and TikTok fan accounts puts me under that umbrella, then <laughs> guilty as charged. All right, but this kind of radical commitment to one particular school of thought seems to be more prevalent than ever. Our current political climate is rife with this kind of thing, left or right, doesn't matter. You spend five minutes online, you find hundreds of people who are so consumed with their partisan pride that if you took it away, they would be this, this empty husk of a human being. Fortunately, this video is not about politics, it's about something much more thrilling. Penis warts. Nah, I'm only kidding, it's about veganism. Well, not really. It's not about veganism itself. That's that's fine. It's more about a, a vegan lady. This it's about TikTok. It's about an in, it's an it's about an insufferable vegan lady on TikTok. Three, two, one, sing. Eating animals is wrong, McDonald's. Hurting animals is wrong, McDonald's. Share this song and change your entire menu to be vegan. Now, I'm not here to bash veganism. If that's uh, a lifestyle choice you made, it's working for you, I think that's fantastic. I'm also not one of those neckbeards that replies to every single PETA tweet with a gif of sizzling bacon. I am intrigued, however, by this woman, uh, Miss Katie, that goes by that vegan teacher on TikTok. She's a former grade school teacher, and she's recently this year blown up on TikTok. She's got a million and a half followers right now, strictly through proselytizing veganism as a lifestyle and being very critical and inflammatory towards people who don't accept veganism as their God and live like it's their gospel like she does. If you want to get to heaven, you know what to do. It's time to be vegan for the animals and you, Mother Earth, the skies and the oceans too. We have to protect them, we all know it's true. Heaven is vegan. Fish, chicken, and cow. All we have to do is change our ways and lead with our hearts towards better days. Have All right. This is like, this is so many layers of what the fuck. If you look through some of her account, she posts a million times a day and everything she does is, has to be a fucking jingle for some reason, which I guess maybe adds to the appeal. Uh, also, telling kids on TikTok that they can't get into heaven unless they're vegan is kind of a weird take. <laughs> And it just, there's so many more layers. It goes even deeper. Is it similar to rape to force an ethical vegan child to eat meat, dairy, or eggs if they don't want to? <laughs> We're going to continue going through and trying to suffer through a little bit of this. But first, uh, I want to thank today's video sponsor, ExpressVPN. And I have Leon here in a baseball cap to talk about it. For well over a year now, I've been using ExpressVPN to help give me a safe and secure internet experience while allowing me to stream the content that I want whenever I want. They create a secure encrypted tunnel between your devices and the internet so your data is safe. It's fast, it's intuitive, and they have servers in over 90 countries worldwide so your connection options are practically limitless. And in addition to keeping your data secure, it eliminates the geo restrictions on your streaming experience. So you can watch whatever Netflix show you want no matter where you are in the world. So if I want to nerd out and watch new episodes of Star Trek Discovery, even though it's not available in the US, I just hop on a UK server and I'm back to clapping Klingons in record time. You can literally add thousands of new shows and movies by switching Netflix libraries. If you have a lot of different devices, not a problem. ExpressVPN has an app for it. iPhone, Android, tablet. You can even install ExpressVPN on your router to take care of your entire home network. It's less than seven bucks a month with a 30 day money back guarantee. So it's worth a shot. And right now you can find out how to get three months free by using my link in the description. That's expressvpn.com slash Leon Lush to take back your internet freedom today. I appreciate you. Yes, God. Yes. Yes, I did. Brushed and flossed every day. Okay, but listen, I don't want to talk about that because this is something more important. I have a question. Is Jesus vegan? Or is he up there in heaven killing animals, stabbing animals? Is he eating chickens, cows, and pigs and fish up there in heaven? Yes. No? Yes. Okay, hold on. Let me take some notes. Jesus, News to me. I... Okay. Jesus does not stab animals in the throat or harm them in any way. <laughs> heaven is vegan? I know, hey, it's not me asking. Thank you. Yes, I'll let them know. I'll call you back, okay? Okay, bye. 
You see, this is when I became a super fan of that vegan teacher. Just an unbelievable role play call with God set over the background music of her previous jingle and then having the hubris to pretend like she knows what God and Jesus are doing up in heaven. Like they're just up there in heaven sipping on wheatgrass smoothies and eating tofu burgers looking down on all the sinners that have the audacity to eat meat and condemning them to hell. Yeah, you know the countless times they use animals as sacrificial offerings in the Old Testament and the thousands of times they talk about eating fish and meat in the Bible. That's all BC Jesus and God, right? It's 2020 now. They've come around. In fact, they're probably up in heaven right now planning out their next protest at a slaughterhouse. You see, Katie's been around the block, so she's smartened up. You see here, she says, take only the good parts from each religion. You see, that's why I'm Christian, Catholic, Buddhist, Islam, atheist, Scientologist, all at the same time, because I can just cherry pick whichever theology is most convenient to my needs at the time. It's not your fault. You didn't know before. You're innocent. But now slowly you're beginning to learn. You're on your way to becoming vegan. One day at a time. Stay with me. Was that like a, a vegan hypno trainer? <laughs> like if you just throw on headphones and listen to this while you doze off to sleep, you'll wake up a vegan prophet. But now slowly you're beginning to learn. I'm learning every day. You're on your way to becoming vegan. I'm so close. One I day at a time. I can feel it. Stay with me. I'm here. I'm with it's you. not your fault. It's not my fault. You didn't know before. I just didn't know what was I supposed to you're do. Innocent. But now slowly you're beginning to Must learn. Kill me eaters. You're on your way to becoming vegan. To understand why Katie's so popular, look no further than how many videos she posts a day. I mean, she spams 10, 11, 12 videos a day sometimes. Let's be vegan from now on. Stop vegan phobia from now on. Let's be kind to everyone. Let's be vegan from now on. On. So she's proselytizing that veganism is the only acceptable lifestyle choice. You sprinkle in a little bit of pretentiousness and then you turn everything into a fucking jingle. And of course, she's going to get enough hate in the comments to trigger algorithms to push her onto the FYP, which is how she blew up because people were like, fuck this bitch. Is it similar to rape to force an ethical vegan child to eat meat, dairy or eggs if they don't want to? Considering science has confirmed that kids can grow up to be 100% healthy eating well-balanced vegan foods, is it morally wrong to penetrate a child's body with death if they do not consent to it? <sighs> I'll tell you, comparing trying to get your kid to eat some eggs with rape was not on my bingo card for today, but but we're here. We, we've arrived. I was today years old when I learned that I now have to grapple with the guilt of knowing that I unwittingly took my son's vegan virginity. That fateful time when I had him try eggs just a year and a half ago. I love this line here too, where she just says, stay away from them. Your kids were born vegan, just stay away. In fact, the second your kid comes flying out of that vaginal canal, just leave them alone, they'll figure it out. Truly spoken like a childless woman that owns 13 cats and considers them her children. Dear bosses, don't be vegan phobic. Be vegan fantastic. If you are ordering food for your company, for whatever occasion, make sure it's 100% vegan. That way, everybody wins. Uh, do we though? If I show up to a company lunch and I have to choose between teriyaki tofu or a chickpea burger because one person in the company gets sad around bacon strips, I'm, I'm, I'm holding an L. That feels like a loss to me. By the way, weird time to compare vegan phobia with racism, uh, but if your shtick, I guess, is getting people riled up, then well played. This woman damn near has on a new custom t-shirt every single fucking day. Joe, life is more than skin deep. Yeah, you look good, but you know what? Anybody can look good. Just requires a little dedication and a gym. Tons of vegans are in the Olympics. Watch the game changers. You can become vegan. Stop promoting pork and ham. Those are baby pigs. She goes on sprees sometimes of responding to people's TikToks that eat meat. It's, it's fun. Why the fuck aren't you vegan yet, Mr. President Trump? Ooh. Is it because you're stuck on the toilet trying hard to push out a dump? <clears throat> when you become an ethical vegan, I guarantee you you'll no longer be full of poo. And that time to change your religion like you change your underwear. Change your religion, show God that you really care. Change your religion, wanna try something new? Use your critical skills to question all you eat drink buy think say and do Ooh -doo. time to change your religion if it tells you to be cruel change your religion if it has a strange or crazy rule <clears throat> first of all 
Why did you have to leave the fucking metronome running? Okay, you couldn't have played the song without the metronome that made my ears bleed. The song itself, absolute bop. But the metronome, skip it next time. Secondly, what she sing what is she trying to convey here? Unsurprisingly, religious people in the comments weren't too thrilled about this one. Brandon Max is not going to change his religion, and Finn Bryan uh, wants to know if anyone else ever just wants to punch a grandmother or er, Oh, it, now I get it. Now this is back about a hundred videos ago, which is technically only a month ago when she had comments still enabled. It looks like in her more recent videos, she's now allowing comments only from approved accounts. So the entire comment section is just one big veganism circle jerk. Listen, I don't even blame her. There's only so many bacon emojis a woman can take before she has to lay down the law. If you're only gonna be vegan, if I'm nice to you, then you miss the point entirely. Why the fuck would you take it out on the animals if you're mad at me? So she makes a lot of TikToks about the fact that her dog is vegan since 2017, apparently, almost bragging about it, saying that she wouldn't, she doesn't have to murder animals to feed her dog. I, I don't know. I, I thought dogs were carnivores. I don't really care, uh, or no. I'm sure apparently they can exist as vegans, dogs can. I'm just curious, like, what about the whole food chain, the whole circle of life thing? How do you feel about the fact that so many species on the planet would not be able to exist if it weren't for them consuming other species? Where do you suppose she draws the line on that? Like, what do you suppose a killer whale, for instance, is supposed to eat? Do we let them continue the heartless murder of other sea mammals so they can continue to eat? <coughs> or do we intervene and stop them from eating other creatures and let them die from starvation. Wouldn't that almost be like us murdering them? It's a very tricky, moral, complicated situation. I think if Katie was really committed to the cause, she would fill up a tugboat with 15 tons of tofu and hand feed these killer whales herself so she can save these goddamn seals that are getting relentlessly murdered by these vicious beasts of the ocean. You can make cringy accusatory TikTok jingles and point fingers at other people on the internet all fucking day, but until you're out there in the ocean stuffing tofu down these killer whales' throats, I think you're all talk. I'm kidding, of course, but good lord, this lady is like the Jehovah's Witnesses of veganism. It's like, man, be vegan, that's fine if that lifestyle suits you, but please, for the love of God, don't show up and knock on my door. I don't want to hear it. Run, run. Run from humans, they're trying to stab you, they're trying to murder you, to call you bacon, and burn you in a frying pan. Yeah, alright, um, I have no doubt, you know, I, I don't, I don't doubt that Katie has the best intentions, right? B given her alignment with what she believes in, and how she lives her life, she thinks she's doing the right thing. And you know, maybe that's a commendable thing, but I think that it, I, I really believe that in, in, a, in a large scale, when you zoom out and look at how many people watch these videos, uh, it might be having a counterproductive effect. Like she'll reach the 1% of people that feel exactly like her and they're all circle jerk in the comments, but I feel like for the majority of people that come across these videos, maybe a lot of people leaning or thinking about trying veganism or are gonna see these videos and be like, Ugh. Fuck, is this what veganism does to a motherfucker? Oof. Like, I genuinely dislike when people antagonize vegans for no reason, right? A lot of people just choose this lifestyle because they think it's healthier or they uh, have a lot of empathy for animals, and, and that's totally fine. Something about the way Katie executes her TikTok channel, though, the way she projects herself and kind of feels like she's standing on top of this ivory vegan tower looking down at all the sinners. Something about the way she does it makes me want to uppercut a cow in the fucking throat. And I don't know how to deal with that emotion. I have to figure out a way to move forward. Uh, and I'm going to do that. So a lot, I guess that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to stay away from cow farms for the next couple days. Uh, but if you could do me a favor and hip thrust that motherfucking like button, I would appreciate, you know, I always appreciate your time. And I hope to see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah. You, you, you.